what is up guys how's everybody doing i am tiff welcome back to my channel if you are new welcome make sure you're subscribed so you know when all of my future readings come out this is going to be a general reading it's not going to resonate for everybody take what resonates leave what doesn't do not force it to fit your situation if you would like a personal all that information is in the description box okay i'm going to do a you versus them we're going to see how you're feeling but, and what's going on with you towards your person depending on how <laughs> you versus them fuck tiff oh my gosh okay how you're feeling about your person versus how they're feeling about you okay if you feel like the roles are reversed take it flip it you know how that works okay so let's see let's see how the divine feminine is feeling at this time spirit ancestors and guides what would the divine gem had to say at this time spirit ancestors i find myself going around and around in my head about you all day I don't want to keep doing that. It's not healthy. So you can definitely find yourself overthinking about this person, constantly, you know, thinking about what they have going on, wondering what they're doing, wondering if they're thinking about you, okay? Um, you know, spirit might be wanting to tell you that it's time to refocus your thoughts into another direction. I feel like you definitely know that it's unhealthy to be so focused on this person all the time. Um but you can't help it okay i we have i feel like i feel like you weren't willing to make make me or us a priority i won't beg for your love and attention i deserve the best see now that's good though you know because even though this divine feminine here is um over, is constantly thinking about this masculine okay she is also not willing to accept anything less than what she deserves this masculine was not making this feminine a priority this masculine was not making the connection a priority and this feminine is at the point where it's like look if i have to beg for this love if i have to fight for this love then it's not true love you know i shouldn't have to fight for love and so it's like i'm not going to beg for your love this person probably was not giving you the attention you deserve they were barely giving you any time and you do know you know you deserve the best so that could be why even it's hard for you to get your mind off this person because even though you love them with because you love them with all your heart but at the same time they're not giving you what you deserve and at the bottom of the deck we have i would just like equal give and take between us see it's not even like you're asking this person for much or like you're trying to get, you know what I'm saying? It's not like you're just asking for equal give and take. It's not like you want anything spectacular or anything special. You know, you just want to be treated with respect, you know. Let's see though. Let's see what this masculine has to say. Spirit, ancestors, and guides. What does the masculine have to say here? Spirit, ancestors, and guides. Thank you. Thank you. I want you to surrender to me. You are mine. I won't hurt you again. No more broken or empty promises. So it's almost like they've came in and like promised that they would commit to you and promised that they could would give you like it's almost like, you know, I'll make it work this time. You know, I'll come back and I'll do it this time. Um, this time I'll, I'll give you the attention des des you deserve. This time I'll commit to you. This time I'll make you a priority. And it's almost like you're very headstrong, you know, and you really stick up for yourself no matter how much it hurts you. You know, like uh, even if you love this person and it hurts you to do so, you still stick up for yourself because you know you deserve better. And it's almost like this, it's a power trip to this person. Like they want you to like surrender, you know, dumb that down a little bit, but you're not going to fucking do that. But still, regardless of what y'all are going through, this person feels like you are theirs, period. You know, you are theirs. They are not going to give you up that easily. So even if you have told them, like, nah, like, because you're telling them you haven't made me a priority. You don't, you, uh, you know, like, you ain't giving me what I deserve. So you could be pulling back your energy, but still thinking about them. But this person, even if you're pulling back your energy, they're in their head, they're like, they're not going to give you up. You are theirs period and so they're making they're gonna come in and they're gonna make you these promises 
he said he also says you taught me so much i am trying to integrate it all i am slowly starting to understand know that i am in my own way grieving too wow so it's almost like you have taught this person a lot made them look within themselves okay but it's also like you know when you're trying to you have a test at eight o'clock in the morning well, let's just say, okay, yeah, you have a test at 8 o'clock in the morning. You're supposed to study for it, but instead you went out with your friends and stayed out till 1 in the morning. So now you're trying to, like, cram in a week's worth of knowledge um, in an hour. Okay, I'm 34, but I'm just using an example. I'm not in school, okay? Um, that's, like, what they did. Like, it, it's almost like you taught this person so much but it like all piled onto them at once. It was like lesson after lesson, but it was good lessons. And as I'm looking down, I see that 555 five, five on the clock. So yeah, there's been a lot of changes that has happened in this masculine's life. And they really are trying to integrate these lessons into their lives. And for a long time, this person didn't understand or they thought you were just bitching or just being, you know, like they might have said, you're just being worrisome as fuck, you know, nagging all the time, picking all the time. But now it's like they're understanding the things you were saying and the shit that they would like. It's like you would talk and talk and talk to this person and they would just sit there and act like they didn't even fucking hear the shit you're saying, you know, and it's like, OK, what in the fuck, you know? But now they definitely are slowly starting to understand, like, the shit that you were saying was some real shit. You know, they should have listened. And now it's like they are grieving. And they're not showing that they're grieving nor missing you, okay? Um, but they are. So let's see what's at the bottom. Can we start over? Oh, my gosh. So this masculine definitely wants a fresh start with you. I feel like this masculine doesn't know, though, like, how you would respond to the, them, or this is also them wanting to go back in time, like, can we just put the past in the past and continue to move forward, but I also feel like, you know, you feel like you can't just put, um, like, sweep some shit under the rug and then everything be okay here, you know? Because at the same time, like, you know, the way this person breadcrumbed you and, and like, wasn't making you a priority, it's almost like that that Knight of Wands energy where it's like, you know, they'll do whatever it takes to get what they want and then they're gone again almost, you know, just to make sure that you're still in their energy. But let's see, how is the feminine feeling over here, spirit? How is the fem feeling over here, spirit? Discipline, yeah. I can accomplish whatever I set my mind to. So you are definitely trying to... um um discipline yourself and not contact this masculine or reach out to this masculine or respond to this masculine okay um with blame i accept responsibility for my own well-being um it's like for a long time you might have like and i'm not saying played victim in a bad way okay i'm saying played victim like wow i did all this for you you're gonna leave me you know i was always there for you and you're gonna do this for me you know that type of shit but now it's almost like you know i'm the one it's like accountability where it's like okay i'm the person that's steadily letting this masculine come in and do this shit to me over and over and over again so instead of blaming everybody else or blaming him for what's going on i'm gonna take accountability for my own actions and i'm gonna motherfucking put my mind and this to leaving to you know really cutting this person off and and discipline myself because it you know it, it's very easy when they start texting and calling and and telling you sweet nothings to let this person back into your energy because you love them you know and they might play victim and make you feel bad you know and then you start blaming yourself well maybe i could have done shit no 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 you're not feeling like like that no more you know it's like okay no um i keep letting this person come in and breadcrumb me so until i truly see some changes here i have to discipline myself and continue to distance myself from this masculine so let's see about the masculine though what's this masculine going through at this time spirit ancestors and guides what is the masculine going through at this time spirit ancestors and guides grief oh my gosh and didn't this card yeah 
this card right here says, I am grieving in my own way. And then this masculine has grief. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. That's what I'm saying. It's almost like you did the right thing by disciplining yourself to pull your energy back. Because this person had to lose you. They had to feel this in order to appreciate what a diamond they had. You know, like this person looked at you like you were a fucking rhinestone when they were the damn rhinestone. If you were a rhinestone, you were on one of Elvis's famous jackets or some shit on Michael Jackson's leather shit. Wow, we regret. You ain't no motherfucking rhinestone. You a diamond. And this person regrets that shit now. I know I cannot change the past. And then it, one of them cards say, like, I wish I could. Can we start over? They wish they could go back to the past. It's like they wish they would have listened to the things that you were telling them then. It was almost like they were hard-headed and they were stubborn. And even though they felt and knew you were right to prove a point, they did the opposite. It's like you were feeling this person with knowledge and you didn't even know it. Like you were really teaching this person shit, but their stupid ass wasn't listening. You know what I'm saying? And now here they are. Have grief, regret. Look at the bottom. Love what you don't see. But this person loves you so motherfucking deeply, so tremendously. This person loves you so fucking much, man. And and I don't know why they don't show it at times or they try to um, let on like they don't care as much as they do when they truly are in love with you. balance you know i bring a perfect state of harmony into my world and i do so without judgment this person does not want it to be over but it's like you were you might have made that judgment call like look i need to bring i don't give a fuck what happens now i need peace i need harmony here i need balance i need stability you know, and if I have to end this in order to in hurt myself, you know, even though it'll bring pain, I'm not talking about hurt yourself like in, as in hurt yourself like majorly. I'm talking about bring pain to your own heart in order to bring balance into your life and to stop letting this person keep doing that. Then that could be what you feel like you have to do. But I feel like that's this person that loves you very motherfucking much wanting to come in and bring balance back to this connection. Because I feel like this person knows that they are the ones that threw this connection off they know that they're the ones that fuck this connection up you know um wow freedom i feel like though you are just you really have your, your mindset to free in yourself from this person it's like for a long time you you saw you were very empathetic to this person. Like you tried to understand where they were coming from. You tried to see things from their point of view. You know, you tried to give them chances to, you know, fix fix whatever this was. And, and they didn't. And so now it's almost like you, and now it's like you, because now it's at the point where you just feel like a fucking fool. Like, okay, fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, shame on you, or however it goes. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. That's how it goes, right? Hell yeah, because, you know, you fool me once, okay, I. Right. But if you let the same damn jackass clown fool you twice, well, then, you know, sometimes you got to look back at yourself and reflect, right? And so now it's, and I'm not saying, like, you know, nothing bad, but because I don't judge. We're all human here. But it's like, okay, you, you don't want... Okay, this person done fooled you over and over and over again. So now it's almost like, okay, do I even keep hope that they'll even change? Or do I just finally fucking free myself? So it's almost like this last hurt, you're like really persevering to free yourself from this person because you can't see where they're coming from anymore. Maybe in the past you could like understand, but now it's just like, okay, if you keep doing the same shit over and over and over again, like the boy who cried wolf, you know, eventually nobody's going to believe you. Nobody's going to have any sympathy for you. And unless you change, nothing can evolve or grow without movement. Unless they change, then there will be no happiness here. Unless they surrender to the, to the universe, there will be no peace here. 
yeah and they are worrying and doubting that you will um let them back into your energy but the the whole thing here is that this person truly loves you they want to be with you you are their happiness okay let's see spirit ancestors and guides What is this feminine's overall energy? The Queen of Wands. Wow, gorgeous, magnetic, on your shit, successful with the Six of Wands. Wow. It's almost like you've helped this person fight their demons. Look at that success card in the demon's head. It's like you've really helped this person look within themselves and fight their demons. I feel like you have already, you've already done that shadow work, okay? You are really on a great path. You're coming up as the queen of wands, gorgeous, magnetic, you know, um, very headstrong. You know what you want out of life and you're not going to accept any less. Let's see what this masculine over here's overall energy is, spirit. We got the magician trying to manifest um you back into their life or you into their life or into your energy but the problem is the magician also kind of is a trickster energy they can come in and offer a lot and then they're out again yeah but this person definitely wants to move forward with you they want to move out of this dark place they want to move on with the six of swords it's like they you guys have been in a difficult and hit a rough patch for quite some time but they want to move on from that and move forward Let's see, how is this feminine feeling about this masculine? How is this feminine feeling? Yeah, the five of wands in reverse. You're tired of fighting, okay? You kind of just want to move on and move forward. Um, If this person had you, like, in competition with other people, um, it's like you... you you do not, you just feel like this, if this person's going to have you in competition with anybody else, you're going to move on. You don't want to fight with this person. You don't want to argue, but you also don't want to feel like you're being breadcrumbed by this person. Let's see, how is this masculine feeling about the divine feminine? Yeah, judgment. So they think it's completely over. They really do. They feel like they've lost you forever. Okay, they feel like that's a solid ending, like there's no resurrecting this connection. But in this card, um, they are coming out of these coffins here. So, you know, this could be a resurrection. They want to fix this. They want to bring this relationship back to life. Um, they are not sure how to do it, though, because in their head, they feel like you're in that energy where it's completely over. What is the feminine thinking? What is the feminine thinking about this divine masculine spirit? Let's see six of pentacles and it's crossing the connection because that's a problem it's like you feel like you've given way too much and they haven't you know given you in return it's almost like you give and you give and you give until you burn yourself out here and and that's what's crossing the connection okay that's what the issue is you're tired of um you're just thinking that could be what you're thinking like i'm tired of giving to a situation where i'm just not getting anything back you know so let me pull back my energy let's see what is this masculine thinking king of wands i only got six cards out here y'all the king and queen of wands divine counterparts true divine counterparts and the females on the female side and the males on the male side the king of wands very passionate loves you and look at how this ma his throne is kind of turned towards her looking in her direction you know this person is only focused on you and they want to bring this back they feel your energy they feel like you guys are meant to be this king of wands though could be very headstrong very egotistical okay and sometimes this this um masculine lets his ego and pride get in the way but they know what they're passionate for they know what they want Ten of Pentacles, and that's what they want. They want this contentment with you. They feel like you guys could literally have it all. I, we could have had it all. Rolling in the deep. You had my heart and soul in your hands. <laughs> and you played it. Okay. To the beat. To your. Okay. But they feel like you guys can have it all. That's emotional contentment. That's spiritual contentment. That's financial contentment. That's leaving, um, that's breaking generational curses. That's leaving shit behind for your kids, okay? 
I feel like that's what y'all both want. But, like, once again, this both of you are in that energy where you just feel like it's completely over. Like, there's no resurrecting this connection. Um, energy's fluent, so, you know, tomorrow it could be completely different. But, look, even though you guys are both feeling this, and this is both where y'all's energy is at, where they feel like it's completely over, you're not going to resurrect this. You feel like it's completely over because you're fucking through with the bullshit. There's that motherfucking temperance card. Peace. I mean, did I say peace? Well, that is peace, you know, because the temperance is a card of peace, but um, that's a card of reconciliation, coming back together. You got the infinity symbol. Somebody's gone through a lot of karmic lessons, okay? And now you guys are coming together. This is meant to be. All right, that is meant to be here. I feel like with the temperance, she's pouring these two cups, these soulmates into this one infinity symbol. It's meant to be. You guys are soulmates, and this is coming back together. Even though you both feel like it's over, okay? Just take it from me, okay? All right, that's what I have for you guys. If that resonated at all, comment below. Let me know. Until next time, loves. Peace.